there. That's it. That's him. What's up, people? How you doing? I'm back in the building. I'm giving you another video. Something that is factual, something that is real, something that is in your face, something that a lot of you people don't like because you know why? A lot of you people are excuse makers and crying and whining in every video. I mean, you make five to ten to thirteen to thirty minute videos where you're crying and whining every five minutes, making excuses why it's okay to do fuck shit. But we don't do that over here. Over here, you accept responsibility for what you do. You did it, you did it. So today's video. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, Mr. Warwick's in the building. Talk about something about President Obama. Like, I know how black folks are rah rah, he's in the White House, and we did it, yeah. This, that, yeah, whatever. But President Obama was on point. He did a lecture, he did a, what, a commencement speech at Morehouse. And for all, for all my pigment leak challenge friends, Morehouse is an all black male school, university down in Atlanta. The women's version is Spelman College. Spelman College. And Obama told the graduating class that now, right here, real, real life's happening. It's real shit after this. There's no more excuses you can give. You can't blame, you can't blame Whitey because you ain't doing it no more. You know, you can't use excuses all the world hates the black man and yada yada this that and the fifth. You know, and this is a message that should be for everybody, but he told these people because you got degrees and you, you got to leg up on white folks, even regular white folks. So I agree with President Obama, there should be no excuse. Now, I know a lot of these excuse makers on YouTube, a lot of them like want to cry and whine, like I said, and, and if you listen to them, they sound powerful, they sound convicted, but if you listen to what they're saying, it's like, it doesn't add up. Because the excuses of slavery and Jim Crow and all that, yes, although they were real, and yes, there are still some lingering effects afterwards, that is not a reason for you just to give up on life and get your welfare check, is it? For some of you, it is. But for a majority, it shouldn't be. Like, the problem with pe you people, like, like some black people I'm looking at, you don't like to look in the mirror. Hell, I don't like looking in the mirror sometimes. Nobody likes looking in the mirror. But at the end of the day, if you want to solve the problems, you have to address the problem. And a lot of you are the problem. I hate, I hate to say this, a lot of you are the problem. Like I hear a lot of y'all, you know, the same excuse makers that are always the same ones talking about go back to Africa, but yet they haven't hit that red eye and they haven't hit that fucking flight to Africa. You know, they want, they always sitting there spewing their little crying whining. Oh, this the white man held me back. No, the white man didn't hold you back. I can point to, I could probably point somewhere in your little funky life where you decided to do something stupid, you went left, and it was what it was after that. You know, the racial problems, have, I mean, yeah, there are racial problems in America, hell, I experience it sometimes. But I can't, let me put, the, I can't be like a lot of you out there who cry and whine. I can't let that hold me back. My point is, well, if you don't like me, fuck you. It is what it is. I'm still doing me. I'm worried about me and mine. Now, I'm not here to take care of the people who gave up and said, well, and now if I get, to, if I'm going to a point where I got going to, all of a sudden they want to help hop, hop on board. That ain't how it works. You work for yours. I show people how to get where I'm going. If I don't show you where I get where I'm going, I tell you how to do it. Well, there's a lot of people who don't like to do the work because it's hard. And what I'm noticing, a lot of you want to start off at the top. Well, I ain't working for no Mickey D's. Well, don't work. I'm sure someone from, from fucking Africa or El Salvador or fucking Venezuela do the job for you. And then when you cry out you don't have a job that foreign people are taking the job, remember, you didn't want to work that job. So your best bet is to stay in school, go to college, which you have to do and better your life. You know, nowadays, here's what here, here's what a lot of you dusky motherfuckers don't understand. We're competing globally here. There's no, it's just not like, you know, it's not like New York State's competing for jobs with Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's competing with Ohio. Ohio's competing with Indiana. Indiana's competing with Illinois. Illinois competing with Michigan. Michigan's competing with Wisconsin. Arizona's competing with California. California's losing their jobs to Seattle, Washington. It's not like that no more. Now it is, the United States is competing 
with China, which is competing now with Brazil, and the Russians are trying to hit the come up, and and, and now the big the, the next China might be over in Africa somewhere. This is what you guys don't understand. The world is bigger than your little fucking skew of welfare Freddy cards here. The world is a lot bigger than that. And now the focus is on the people of these countries. Why should we come to America when when the stereotypes are, are somewhat more true about everybody? Like the white folks got their stereotypes, the blacks, the Asians, everybody has stereotypes. And to some degree or another, all these stereotypes, not all of them, but a lot of these stereotypes are true. So they're not stereotypes, it's reality. You know, but if you want to complete, compete globally, you're going to have to dig in and do it. Now, if you're not willing to work, why should I help you? Like a lot, a lot of you want a lot. Look, I'm not the government. I'm not Obama. I'm not Reagan. I'm not Bush. I'm not Clinton. I'm not the government. I'm not going to just give you shit because you're a citizen. I, I I can help you, but don't don't think I'm giving you a handout. You crazy? You got me fucked up. You know. And now here's the problem with what Obama and folks like me and other folks are saying. Now we're getting told. Well, you don't have to say that, and you know, you don't have to tell people that. Yes, you do, because your guys' game plan isn't working, hasn't worked, and from the looks of it, won't be working. So I have to put, we have to put foots in people's asses to get them to do what they're supposed to be doing. Now, I shouldn't have to do that, but if this is what takes to motivate you to do something with your fucking worthless life, then it's good. You can be mad at me, call me, uh, he's an asshole, he's a dick. Whatever. But at the end of the day, if you're out there trying to strive and get something out of your life, I'll be that dick. I'll be that ass. I'll be that motivation to get you going. Because a lot of you, this ain't the good old days where you could you could have been a professional welfare recipient. This ain't the good old days where you can get 20 years, the government give you a gold, uh, what's that, silver anniversary, no, what's it, 25 years, a silver anniversary, and 50 years, a gold anniversary on welfare. These aren't the days no more. And let me break this welfare thing down to you people. When I'm talking about people on welfare, I'm not talking about the people who use it as a crutch. The people who need the welfare to get along, to get by. I'm talking about the people who got welfare because they don't want nothing else with life. And they're comfortable with just collecting a check, buying their 40 ounce of crazy horse, you know, getting a couple of four locos and you know, let's get it cracking. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the low expectation motherfuckers who think that people like me and others have a job, but we're rich. And then when you see us, we're supposed to help you out, but yet there's no return on getting your money back. So yeah, I'll take that deal. I'm not loaning you. I'm not you fucking a hundred dollars to get back zero. Smart business. Fuck out of here. I only help people that are willing to help themselves. If you don't want to help yourself, I'm not helping you. If you're not willing to respect yourself, I'm not respecting you. Because why should I respect the person who don't respect yourself? It looks crazy and looks stupid. So. There is discrimination, there is this, there's that, and the fifth. But if you're not willing to work and willing to change it, what good are you? So look, I advise people, don't listen to me if that's, if that's how you feel. If you want to be an excuse maker, and if you want to find reasons why not to do something, you want to find reasons why to give up on life, I can I can point you to the several people on YouTube who do not have a crying whine and makes excuses for, for their miserable, fucked up life, but at the end, the same people that do this, I can point to something in their life that why they're at was where they're at. Like if you're doing bad, you should expect bad to happen. If you do good, you should expect good to happen. Look, I played both sides of the fence one time. Whatever I was doing, I was doing good and bad. But in the day, it came back to bite me. And in, in, in a bigger picture, it wasn't worth it at the end. So now I'm out here helping folks. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Either you want it, either this is what it is, either you want it or you don't. That's the bottom fucking line. If you don't want it, keep on pushing. Make your videos about how, oh, the white man held me down. Well, uh, how's the white man holding you down and relatives can help you out? There's different avenues. You just got to ask. So I'm out of here. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.